Yo, what's good with y'all boys, man? So I want to talk about self-love, and I want to talk about energy and frequencies. Um, Because I've said this in the past, is that if you understand energy and you understand frequency, you literally have the cheat code to the universe, because that's all this shit really is. It's just energies and it's frequencies. And people that are more successful than you, that you look up to, they understand this. People that are richer than you, they understand this. You don't understand this. Like I said... They teach you how to invest in stocks. They teach you how to put your money in real estate. They teach you all this other bullshit that, to be honest, if you ain't even got no money in the first place, you're not even going to really have a big return from anyway. But they teach you all this other shit instead of teaching you the real stuff that they're really doing, which is controlling energy, controlling frequency. And the fastest way to raise your frequency and to raise your energy into this universe is by self-love. It's about loving yourself. Now, what is self-love? Self-love is essentially, in its essence, it's just self-discipline. You get what I'm saying? Like, you watching porn every single day is, you know what I'm saying? Even though it makes you feel good or it may make you feel good in the moment, it's, just, it's literally destroying you. Every part of you, bro. It's destroying your brain. It's destroying your body. It's destroying your skin. Everything about you is making you weaker as a man. And... You're showing a lack of self-discipline. Therefore, you're showing that you're telling the universe because the universe doesn't speak in language. The universe speaks in vibes. It speaks in frequencies. So you could say you could wake up every single day and tell and tell the universe that you love yourself. But it's how you treat yourself. That's how that's what the universe goes off of, how you treat yourself. So when you're watching porn every single day and you you busting your seat every single day, you're energetic. You're energetically telling the universe that you don't love yourself. And so the universe all it does is it just reflects that negative self-love into your reality. That's all it does, bro. The universe doesn't hate you or love you. It just it just reacts to what you give it. You get what I'm saying? That's it. That's what it's that's what it's designed to do. So, if you put out good energy, it gives you good energy. If you put out bad energy, it gives you bad energy. It all just depends on what vibe you on, but you know what I'm saying? Um Self-discipline just starts in the mind, bro. It starts in the mindset. It starts to under what the first thing you have to understand is that all this shit is just frequency and energy. Once you understand that, then the next thing you need to understand is okay, how do I keep my energy as potent as possible? How do I keep my energy as positive as possible? And number one before anything is definitely no fab and semen retention. That's the foundation. That's why no fab and semen retention exists within the root shot within the root chakra you get what i'm saying because that's the foundation that's why the root chakra and the, and the sacral chakra are so closely connected together because that's number one to anything before you can even get to your crown chakra before you can even get to the other chakras you need to set your feet down you need to set a foundation how can a tree grow if the tree doesn't have roots you get what i'm saying so once you set your foundation and once you master semen retention you master no fap now you're in control of your energy. Once you're in control of your energy, you can do anything you want. But of course, they don't want you to know this. They don't want you to understand this because if you understand this, you will take control over your life. You will no longer be a slave. And if you're no longer a slave, you can't build their corporations. You can't build their businesses. You can't fund what they want you to fund. You get what I'm saying? It's just, it's all one big trap. But, you know, the number one key to, to, to even starting it is just self-love, bro. And like I said, waking up every single day and looking in the mirror and telling yourself how beautiful you are or how handsome you are, that's not self-love. Self-love is the things that you do, okay? You could tell yourself that you look good, but do you take care of your skin? Do you moisturize your skin? Do you make sure that your skin is healthy? Do you make sure that you're getting enough skin? I mean, do you make sure that you're getting enough sun you know what I'm saying? So that it can absorb within your skin and your skin can use it, you know what I mean, to, to heal itself. You can say that you love yourself and you can tell yourself how great you are, but then you go home every day and you watch porn. You're literally throwing away your life essence. You're deteriorating your, your youth. Everything about you, you're throwing it away. You know what I'm saying? For 10 seconds of pleasure. That's not loving yourself at all. So it's like I can't take you seriously and the universe can't take you seriously if you say you love yourself but then you do things that contradict that and that's simply what i'm saying is just that self-love equals self-discipline if you want to master self-love 
you have to master self-discipline. Once you master self-love, you can master energy and you can master frequency. Once you master energy and you master frequency, all this shit is fucking easy. All of it, bro. All of it, bro. You get what I'm saying? You have so many people in this world that's pushing away, that's pushing against it. You know what I mean? They don't want to believe in any of this stuff. They just go with the motion. They just go with the flow. They just feel like, okay, we just in this bitch. And you can have that mentality. You know what I'm saying? But when you really wake the fuck up and you realize like what this universe really is and the push and pull effect that this universe really has, you can make your life 10 times easier, 10 times easier. But understand it's not going to be easy. Self-discipline has never been easy. It's not easy to say no. It's not easy to, to, um, to walk away from your triggers. It's not easy at all. And that's why it's called the 1% for a reason, because a lot of people will not do it. So you have to separate yourself from the pack. You got what I'm saying? Point. You got to separate yourself from the pack. And it's, it starts with self-love. Anyways, I hope this made sense. I hope y'all got something from this. We out.